As this program was nearing completion, Dr. Ponsetti passed away on October 18, 2009 at age 95. In this program, you will see why he was loved and respected around the world. You will also see why so many people mourn his passing, yet celebrate his accomplishments. Dr. Ponsetti's legacy lives on in the many, many people he trained who remain at the University of Iowa. It's a sad story repeated every day around the world, a story of lives ruined and futures unfulfilled. The saddest part of the story is that it doesn't need to be this way. It's the story of children born with club foot. Club foot is one of the most common birth defects. It cuts across ethnic boundaries and socioeconomic classes. In the developing world, club foot can mean that a child is relegated to second-class citizenship, a life of begging as an outcast. Shunned by their families and shut out by society, their future is bleak. Today, there is hope for these children. More than hope, a promise. That promise comes from the Ponsetti International Association, which is dedicated to eliminating clubfoot around the world. Named after the gentle doctor from the University of Iowa who developed it, the Ponsetti non-surgical method is used around the world to treat babies born with clubfoot. The method is inexpensive. It can be done by nurses, midwives, and many others. It provides dramatic results in just a few short weeks, and it is more than 97% effective. If it sounds too good to be true, it isn't. It's happening every day in developing countries around the world. And here is the most remarkable fact. It costs almost nothing to ensure that a child born with clubfoot can walk normally for his or her entire life. Imagine that. Dr. Ignacio Pansetti came to the University of Iowa in 1941 to learn. He joined the staff in 1944 to teach. And he stayed to help shape the futures of thousands of children. In his earliest years at the university, Dr. Ponsetti studied and worked with the great Dr. Arthur Steindler, who is considered by many the father of pediatric orthopedics. And it was under Dr. Steindler that Dr. Ponsetti learned not only the art and science of orthopedics, but also the tradition of excellence that's been passed down in the department through today. The Ponsetti method has been practiced here at the University of Iowa for 60 years since Dr. Ponsetti established the method in the 50s. Cleft foot is a deformity in which the whole foot is turned in at birth. As shown in this model, the Ponsetti method consists on gentle stretching of tendons and ligaments and then placing the foot in a cast in that correct position. Finger here behind. Okay. We change the cast every four to seven days and with each cast change you gain a little bit at a time. If you start the treatment in a newborn and you change the cast every four days, the treatment lasts for about two and a half, three weeks, and the foot is fully corrected. And what's more important, it will be fully corrected for the life of the patient. We didn't know until he was born that he had club feet, and um, the doctors had told us that it was something that could be easily corrected, it was nothing major. And so when he was four days old, we went to a specialist, an orthopedic surgeon. Surgery is not a solution for cleft foot. Based on long-term follow-up studies, it has been found that the results can be very bad. We weren't, you know, too excited about putting him through another surgery. And once I had talked to the other parents and they just said, before you go schedule another surgery, just contact Dr. Ponsetti. But everybody now, every surgeon, orthopedic surgeon who sees patients treated surgically knows that this is not the way to go, that the feet are very stiff and they are uh, very weak and, and they are very painful. They developed osteoarthritis early, about 20, 25 years of age, and so the, the patients are really crippled. We came in to see Dr. Ponsetti and they applied the first set of casts that day, and then I, I believe they 
took them off about a week later. And at that moment, I knew that this was right. He's doing very well. He has, um, you know, he's walking, running. The method requires in many patients clipping of the heel cord to allow full correction of the deformity. The patient is then placed in a cast for two and a half weeks, and after that in a brace, which is essential to prevent relapses. Working at the University of Iowa, we have seen many patients bring braces from other countries. As you can see, they're made of a variety of materials. In choosing a brace, the most important thing is that there's shoes for both feet, um, that the shoe is comfortable, and that there is a bar in between, as you can see, to maintain that abduction. When they first get into the brace, they will be in the brace for 23 hours a day, two to three months. After three months, they'll just be in them for nap time and bedtime only. Dr. Ponsari first met Ross Snyder when Ross was just 10 days old. In this film, made when Ross was a baby, Dr. Ponsetti manipulates the ankle and foot bones, guiding them toward the proper alignment. I'm a pharmacist now, and some days I, I stand for 12 hours at a time, and my feet sometimes get tired, but I don't attribute that to the club foot. For recreational activities, I like to jog. Uh, it's good for the heart and it helps relieve stress. I don't feel that I have any pain in my feet due to the, due to the jogging or the club feet. Up next, meet Allison, a little girl who was discovered as a three-year-old with severe club foot deformity in a Chinese orphanage. Hear how the University of Iowa and Dr. Ponsetti's team helped make it possible for her to run and play ball on the White House lawn. 